Oxygen OS is great stock room, but sometimes you want something extra from your device. And to get something extra, you will have to flash Android custom room. So I flashed a custom room called Emotion OS. My name is Nash and here is my full review of Emotion OS on my OnePlus 3. So this room is based on Lineage OS and EOS P7.1.1 Nougat. Don't worry about the root because this room is pre-rooted so no need to flash super su along with the room. Not only root that you get out of this room, you get Substratum pre-install, one of the best theme engine to have in 2017. And it's very easy to apply themes, just download few themes from play store and you will have new look to your oneplus 3 and if you want to see my favorite themes, just click the i button. Now most of the features will be found in the settings under the tab called emotion control. You can navigate all the features by swipeable menu system and in my opinion it looks clean. First of all we have status bar customization where you can reposition your clock and you can change the icon of battery. Speaking of battery we have battery bar a small line on top of your status bar which indicate your current battery level. And your status bar will look more beautiful with network traffic indicators. Moving on we have quick setting customization you can add or remove any tile from your notification drawer. Then we have lock screen and button customization but those are very common features. Let's talk about something unique. It's called app circle bar. In app circle bar you get this nice little circle you can put custom apps inside. It will save your time because you won't have to go to home screen to launch any app. Feature I like most is custom screenshot. Not only you can take screenshot with three fingers, you can swipe and have selected area screenshot. This will definitely save you lots of time. There is a feature called wake lock blocker and it will save your battery life because it prevents your phone from waking up from unwanted app notification. Now let's talk about camera. It has snapdragon camera and it's super fast, super snappy. It can shoot in 4K UHD and slow motion at 240 FPS. Here are some samples. So that was customization and camera. Now let's talk about performance and stability. Roam is faster and smoother. There is no app force close but I had one random reboot and that's not a good thing. The RAM management is outstanding. There is no scrolling lag like other rooms. And don't worry about manually updating the room because this room has OTA support inbuilt. And now let's talk about the major reason to flash any Android custom room, battery life. I got around 5 hours of screen on time with my normal usage that includes Instagram, Twitter, Google+, WhatsApp, sometimes some YouTube videos, music on Spotify and no heavy games. With so many customization, great features, nice battery life, inbuilt substratum, dash and OTA support, I'm going to give this room 4.5 out of 5. Flashing this room is not that hard, all you need is room and gaps. And if you want to know how to flash this room and what to do before you flash the room and after you flash the room and how to take full titanium backup then all the video links will be in the description. And if you appreciate my efforts then just like this video. I make this kind of videos everyday so don't forget to subscribe. This is Nash and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.